All right, everybody, we are live. I am trying to get the angle right on this. I'm just looking at it on my phone to make sure to see how it looks. And I think that'll work. I'll try to make sure I'm putting everything in front of the of the camera. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So we have the whole truck completely loaded. We actually got some really good pallets this time. We have some really good stuff. Um, obviously, I kind of got to see a little bit of everything yesterday while I was loading it. There's a lot on the truck. And I'm going to try to do two pallets today. We have a lot going on to get ready for tomorrow. I have a couple bikes I've got to build and a few other things to do today. But I want to uh, at least get through one pallet. And if I'm not able to get to the second one, we'll do the, the second one tomorrow morning right when we open. So anyway, okay. We have two of these 25 pound weights. It's a match set. They're nice. We haven't been getting as many weights lately as we, uh, as we used to. Oh, this is nice too. 35 pound cast iron kettlebell it's a little bit it's got a few wear marks from shipping on it and stuff but it still weighs 35 pounds so and kettlebells are amazing for home working out stuff like that um that's what i used to use when i was working out and i know i said i was never going to do clothes again i did not know that this pallet had clothes on it i was a little annoyed yesterday when uh i saw it this is a, I have no idea, medium, new look sweater for women. Kind of nice. And clothing all in this one. And then these are all the same. We have women's casual long sleeve tunic top in wine red. And there's a bunch of these. Like I can open a store just to sell these. So. Extra larges, extra large, extra large. And I think they're, I don't know, I hope they're not all extra large. So far, that's all I'm seeing. Um, that up there for a second while we get these off. You know, it's funny, every week I go to the auction and I say, we're only going to get enough to fill the truck up without having to unload anything. And every week I buy way more than what I say I'm going to buy. And that happened yesterday as well. Only yesterday I bought two mini pallets that were just like this one. And Landon and I actually had to empty out two pallets, which prolonged our loading the truck yesterday by a little bit. Okay, um, these are really nice towels. These are extra large towels. They're really soft and cream color. Those are nice. I should probably move these over here. All right, we have, we've had these before. These are Fortnite Nerf guns. We have a cozy spot ingenuity. This is this is really cool if you can see that in the picture. Make sure I've got my, there we go. Yeah, these are really cool. Um, our kids and baby section was starting to look a little depleted. So a lot of what I focused on this week was for kids. Okay, so this is, wow. Wow. Susan B. Anthony dollar commemorative mint mark set. Okay, so I thought this was just a case. Check this out. We open it up. Look at that. They are in there. That is pretty awesome. And 100th anniversary women's right to vote. These are really, really neat. Um, I had no idea that these were in there. I just thought this was another 
um, this was just another collector's box to put stuff in. So we're going to set that to the side because that is a very unique item. Very unique find. Very cool. Um, I really like getting stuff like that. I'm going to take that back turn off. And once again, if you do see something you want, just comment on the video. And um, I've got Clarissa in the back room, Courtney in the back room. They will respond. They'll get it priced and they'll respond with that. This is for Native American Golden Dollar Collection. So it makes me wonder where all the coins are because it's possible all the coins are in the pallet. That's pretty cool. Um, there's one more thing that goes with it. I just saw. Oh, right here. And then this goes with that as well. And kind of a unique decoration, I guess. All right. We got some garbage on here. Get rid of those. That. Another shirt. Okay, we've got some good books. Playtime by Jeff Mack. Um. And I'm trying to do better about sorting and itemizing stuff for the girls in back. Jacob Rees' camera. Oh, the front's a little torn on it, but it's a good kid's book, you know? But I'm trying to sort everything a little bit more. Health Breakthroughs, Bottom Lines 2021. The other thing I was going to mention, if you don't live here in Heber and you see something you want, let us know because not only can we get you a price for it but we can figure out what it would cost to ship it to you and we get a really heavily discounted price for shipping so a lot of times we can save you money on that as well um better home and gardens annual recipes 2020 that actually looks really cool really good douglas by randy cecil that looks cool and a new kind of wild. We have a whole stack of these. I can see probably four of them so far. Let's uh, get the rest of these out. New kind of wild. Okay, what is this? This is... Economy bond paper, 36 by 150 feet. Don't know what we'll do with that. If anybody has a use for it, let us know. This is probably going to be the same stuff. Nope. This is... I don't know what this is. And there's Clarissa coming out to say hello. Hi, Tina. Hi, Valerie. So you guys are watching just let us know oh look at this doesn't say the brand on it there you go ladies more clothes bottom line yearbook huh this is kind of cool by the editors of pers bottom line personal that's cool um what else do we have here we have another piece of clothing this is a something design. I don't know. Um, long sleeve t-shirt in black mesh small. So when it comes to clothing, um, a lot of the reasons I don't take stuff out of the bags is because when I'm going through this stuff, my hands get really dirty and I would hate to stain something. Um, there's a crowbar. If any of you know, Anything about the zombie apocalypse, this is a very, very critical tool for the zombie apocalypse. And it was brought to my attention that yesterday the CDC issued guidelines for in case there is ever a zombie outbreak. So, there we go. We have your zombie self-defense tool right here. Um, 24 inches long. That way you don't have to get too close. You can keep them at bay. Um, it'll be in the shop tomorrow. 
It's important, you guys laugh, but zombies are real. Eventually they will try to take over the world. Um, okay, tailored, jo tailored jogger, size 36. These are men's, I guess. Small, I don't know, maybe they're not men's. I have no idea. Jogging pants though. What is this? We have wire high tension kits. Genuine factory parts. So these are for furnaces. That's what I was thinking they were. Those will probably end up on eBay. Hi, Kobe. I just saw you join the live. Welcome. Another one of these books. What else we have here? Oh, look at this. Life Application Study Bible, third edition. Today's number one selling Bible. Well, that's cool. We actually sell a lot of Bibles like this, and we sell them really quickly. Um, it it goes really fast, so yeah, that's a good one. Um, you can just find that box of books. Okay, I don't know what this is. But we're gonna find it. I guess I should get my knife out. Okay. We have here. These are displays to go. Huh, I don't know what these are. I'll have to figure it out. Give them Sadie. Okay, lots more books. Move that. There's a ton of kids' books in here. Okay, Stephen buy some more incredible, incredible cross sections. This looks like a really cool book. I used to love, oh yeah, look at this. This is so cool. Gives you a cross section diagram of how things are built. This is a really good way if you're teaching your kids at home or even just if you're not and you just want your kids and your kids love to learn. This is cool, this is, this is awesome. This is a castle. That is so cool. And we have a few of those. What else we have? Another one of these. Saving Lady Liberty. That's a cool book. And these are pretty expensive books. I mean, this one's 20 bucks. This one's 20 bucks. So, you know, you know you're gonna save a lot of money on them out here. Um, and we have a bunch of these books. And they're all in pretty decent shape. We like that. I like when stuff is in good shape. Okay, another cross-section book. Another cross-section book. Cyclops of Central Park. Hmm, interesting. Those. Another cross-section book. Another Jacob book. The Night Library. You guys can see that. Dapper Dan, made in Harlem, a memoir, Daniel R. Day. Dapper Dan. Hmm. Interesting. He definitely looks very dapper. Very sharp looking. Not my color for a suit. But if I could get away with something like that, I would actually try wearing it. The wall in the middle of the book. Man, we've got so many kids books this time. Oh, there's another piece of clothes. Can't believe all those are extra large. I have an idea. Okay, everyone who wears an extra large shirt like that, if you come into the shop, we're gonna coordinate the city of Heber. Everybody's gonna get a shirt like that with their purchase, but they have to wear it all on the same day because you know, this is actually, this is actually our colors. So, you know, fun, right? Good idea. Maybe we'll feel, figure out something fun to do with those. More kids books. Into the Unknown, 
Hopefully I'm getting these in the camera as I go through them. This book is about triangle. This also, this book is also about triangles, friends, square. Triangle. Another one of these. Espanol. Another Dapper Dan book. This actually looks kind of interesting. So when I see stuff like this, it actually makes me really curious. You know, who, who is this? And what did he do? Um, this is what it says. It says, Dapper Dan is a dream maker from Harlem who carved out a piece of its royal cloth, sewed it up and shared it with all of us, creating stars through his vision. Dap was there with the hood heroes and hood horrors, the joy, sunshine, pain. He survived it all. And finally, his book is hitting the streets, letting us all know how. Well, that's cool. That actually sounds like it could be a fun book to uh, read. All right, what else do we have? Oh, this is a good one. 20 recipes kids should know. Recipes for kids. This recipe is by kids and for kids. That would be a fun book, especially if you have kids that need to learn how to cook. That would be fun, or if they enjoy cooking. What else we got here? What is this? I'm going to bet that this is just hardware. Yep, hardware. Yeah, we're going to put our name on the back of it. Oh. And then everybody's going to get one for free. And they're going to all wear them around town on the same day. Oh. Where, where are we Problem about? solved. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What did you think about those commemorative dollars? That's cool. You are light, you are light, you are light by Aaron Becker. Huh, we have a bunch of those. Another Into the Unknown. All right, what do we got here? Um, especially yours, hair pieces. Juanita hair piece. Huh. So that's a hair piece. That's kind of cool. Holly means the recipe book for kids. Let's see what else we can get here. We have. I couldn't figure out which way was up or down. So this is called In a Jar, and it has rabbits on the front of it, so it's got to be a good book. Anything with rabbits is good. Um, okay, I got to do something. I wasn't thinking when I set this up. Um, we might here in a second. I can still read a lot. More kids' books. It's going to be a heavy box. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Okay. We're good. We're good. Is everybody on the live still good? <laughs> okay, we're good. Sorry. I uh I bumped the tripod and I saved it, but we're good. So this is a Vortex Full Suit Men's Wetsuit, size medium long. So that's cool. We're starting to get summer stuff. Oh, socket set. Can't see the brand on it. Pittsburgh Steel Socket Set in standard. have a Watts relief valve for a hot water heater. Ream transformer. All right, what is this guy? Okay. 
Okay. 25 pounds of packing paper. That's a good find. We use a lot of packing paper. So 25 pounds will last a couple of weeks. All right, more books. I'm telling you, we scored on the books this time unintentionally, but we scored on the books. So I'm just going to keep dub Anya's Secret Society. Anya's Secret Society. Some more Douglas books. Yeah. We have a lot of books. Most of them kids' books. So, you know, bring your kids out. Um, Mayhem at the museum. Bring your kids out. Let them pick out some, some cool kids' books. Don't forget everything in the shop or online. 15% off today. This is nice. At a glance, month-to-month -month executive journal for 2021. Um, it's a nice clipboard. And, yeah. Hi, Holly. Hi, Monica. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do is I'm going to take these clothes and get them off the table. Pretty much done with it. And then what I'll do is I'll just stack the books right here on the end. More Mayhem at the Museum books. More Douglas books. more of the cross sections books now this is a good book this is one of my favorite books um i read this probably 10 years ago 12 years ago one of my favorite books the secret between us by barbara delinsky now we're getting into more adult books some Sharpies, highlighters, more kids' books, more kids' books. I don't know what this is. Oh, another ream part, another transformer. Have to be careful. What is this? Singer sewing kit, repair kit for clothing. Cool. Another piece of that clothing. Some mechanical pencils. Nerve Endings. William Martin, The Company of Women, a novel by Mary Gordon. <coughs> oh. That was a good one. Okay, Robert. Ludlum, The Prometheus Deception. That's an interesting book. Well, I'll be honest, I did not know there was this many books on here. Hollywood Kids by Jackie Collins. Databanks and a Free Society. America Was Hard to Find. Huh. Freedom by the Bay, the Boston Freedom Trail. That's actually probably a really good book. Riding Shotgun, Sugar Cage. Yeah, we didn't have, oh, this is a new kid's book that I haven't seen yet. Playtime. More books. A lot of the same books, but you know.
Okay, what do we got here? Find out. Okay, this is a lot of the same stuff. Huh, okay, I get it. These are deposit bags for businesses. You put your deposit in, fill it out, make your deposit. So that's cool. They're garbage because they already have somebody else's account number on them. Um, another transformer. Let's see what else we have here. Stampy's lovely book. Lovely puzzles, games, comic strips, video tips, secrets, and more. Oh, those. Another playtime book. Another Dapper Dan book. Okay. Got a few more of the same ones. What is this? Number quantity 18. Let's open the sucker up and see what we have. <laughs> well, we wanted toys for this uh, this week, and we definitely got them. Kids watches. If you can see this, we have Minecraft, Star Wars, Spider-Man, LOL, Frozen 2, and JoJo. That is really cool. So if your kids have been wanting a watch, um, there you go. I'm going to send these back right now to have them priced so we can get them out. Thank you, Sadie. John Hassler, Rookery Blues. This Magic Moment, a love story for people who want the world to make sense. Treasures. A few other cool books. So last week it was closed. This week it appears that it's going to be books okay check this out everybody this is like a footrest but it's got it's a really neat design on it very pretty and uh feels like it's man of leather thank you for coming in all right what else we have, we have a crib mattress or changing table mattress more like what it is Yep, changing pad for a dresser. And thank you, have a good one. Oh, this is cool. My first big radio flyer. Let's see if I can get it back there where you guys can actually see it. This is really cool. more bulk bags of towels. Once again, these are actually pretty nice towels. They're white. Looks like they're good hotel towels, actually. Just toss them right there for now. We have some paper, just standard notebook paper. Guess red glasses case. Be really nice for uh, sunglasses. Nice little Bible, military challenge edition, basic training for the Bible. That's kind of cool.
We have a diesel glass case. Comes with a cleaner. That's cool. First aid kit. You never know when you'll need a first aid kit. So if you've been looking one. If you've been looking for one of these, you will... Yeah, we've got one in the shop. Um, we got some headphones. All right, what is this? A poster frame. That's cool. The frame people, 24 by 36 inch poster frame. That's really nice. We'll probably put a really nice poster in that and put it out. A couple more books here. We have Timothy's Games by Lawrence Sanders. L is for Lawless, Sue Grafton. Tim Flannery, Flannery The Weather Makers. Your Money Map. That's kind of a cool book. Broken Reams of Paper. We have some number 10 envelopes. Okay, let's grab. King of the Night, The Life of Johnny Carson. And Valerie, I can look into that um, and find out if they're gonna be sold individually or by the bag and let you know. The Joy of the Lex, how to have fun with 860,300, no, 860,341,500 words. Sounds like a cool book. Monkey Girl. You know, it's funny, we were just talking the other day about how everybody hates inventorying books. And now we have books for days. More Joy of Lex, an amusing and amazing L to Z to A and A to Z of words. Flying Dynamics. Huh, developments in color coding for filing systems. We probably need that, we file a lot of paper. I'm just kidding, we really don't use a lot. Oh, got some of these other things. We have Sharpie pens that are gel. Icy hot medicated patches. Ruled index cards. Um, see it bigger planner. We have books. We have books. That's Agatha Christie, five complete novel, Hercule Porit novels. Do we? I stand corrected more on language from William Sapphire. Nicole, the rise of the Antichrist. Complete secretary's handbook. Sadie, read <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> That's a big book and somebody read it to me. Yeah, sure. Edward Windsor, Royal Enigma, the true story of the seventh in line to the British throne. Made in America. Um, pillows, accent pillows. Those are really nice ones. You can see the gray, they have white stitching on them. 
those are really nice accent pillows. Okay, the Italians, that could actually be really fun. Um, I've always been interested in Italy. That actually looks like a really good book. I might actually read that book. Look at that. Doesn't smell like an old book anymore, but look at that. That is just such a, I love old books like this because they're just, they're so amazing. One of my dreams is to own a really big library someday. Lots of books. I think you own that. <laughs> we do have a good library here. The Broker by John Grisham. That actually, I believe, is a really good book. We have Fat Little Notebook. Little package of notebooks. I'm betting hardware. Here's my knife. And it is hardware for an office chair. If you can see it, those are pink wheels. So Somewhere there's a uh, pink office chair. That would be pretty awesome. We'll save that because it's a full set of hardware. Box is empty because it's all in there. Flatware there's set. Some spoons. Spoons. The forks are in there. Forks. What is this one? Dark Rebel. Oh, this is cool. This is actually good. John Veritos, Dark Rebel. Cologne. One of our first things I ever sold on eBay, not the first, but we did an auction. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give these to Sadie to take back to the back room really quick. But anyway, we had these bottles of perfume and I thought they were garbage because some of them had been used. Hi, Deborah. Um, some of them been used, you know, they weren't complete, weren't full bottles. I didn't know that cologne and perfume was a huge market on eBay, even if the bottle had been used. And so we sold them. I think one of the bottles we got like 200 and something dollars off. We had like eight of this one kind. They sold for $100 a piece. It was pretty cool. So um, the reason I'm telling you that, if you guys have old colognes, old perfumes, you want to make some extra cash, you can get on eBay, look, see if they're worth anything. Um, everybody needs extra money. And plus, we know that you guys want to come out here and shop. So, hint, hint. All right. Wow, this is some cool material. Huh. This, I don't know what this is. Um, no idea what this is. Guarantee you another four ounce, one piece ladles. Well, let's open this up from India. I think I need to sharpen my knife. Yeah. They look like commercial ladles. Just what it said. Nice ladles. So if you need an extra ladle for the house, who doesn't need extra ladles? We have really nice extra ladles. 18 inch handles. 
more bank facts. Peace sign wreath. Hopefully you guys can see that from there. More books. I don't know what this is. But let's find out. So I'm actually going to take it out of the pallet because I'm afraid I'm going to drop it and I open it up. That time I didn't catch it. Okay, we're back. Sorry for the ride, everybody. Can you grab me some paper towels? Yeah. I'm gonna have to find a better place to put the tablet, I think, when we're doing this. This little table, I thought it would be stable enough. And it is definitely not stable enough. And not only did I knock the tablet down, I knocked my drink off. I'm gonna have to mop. That's okay. Okay. Not that there's a lot left. <laughs> it smells good though. Okay. So this was for a Husky toolbox, but there's obviously not enough in this box to be a toolbox. It's just all the hardware for it. Um, it would be nice if that was in there. I'm gonna set this to the side. All right, I'm gonna have to get in here. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a garbage box when we're done. There's that. We have some silverware, paper all garbage, another Douglas book. Comics Confidential. Um, GNC Adult Mask. What is this? Made out of brass. Pink. It is a plant holder, as you can see in that picture right there. And then we have some signs. I don't know what these are for, but they look kind of cool. And there's multiples of different signs. 105, A1 through A8. 209, C17 through 24. I'm almost guessing these are building signs. We have more headsets, a couple more pieces of Silverware. And what is this? And then we have a cartridge for a humidifier. Um, okay, so that's it for this pal. Less of stuff in here is just garbage, empty boxes, stuff like that. I appreciate your guys' patience with it. I knocked the uh, iPod off, I think, what, like uh, three times? And uh, the last time, I wasn't as quick as I needed to, to save it. 
Um, we will try to be back later this afternoon to do another live video and at least go through a little bit of a palette. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you guys and we'll talk to you soon.